understand that I've got a right to be in Okay. From what I can see, your VIP membership had a had a call, someone call me, you know. Outside. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna have to escort you outside. Yeah. At least I would hear no laments about pain. It hurts. It hurts. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. Um, V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V. You're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Look for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid mm -hmm. of something else. Yeah. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I snuffed it once, and I'm gonna do it all over again. Got no idea how to stop it. There. Abby. You're scared. Because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best? in all of Night City. Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear... is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. So what now? Is you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you. But how do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You 
have made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? Where do I find Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Great. This is gonna be fun. Hi. VIP customers only. Sitting on the toilet. Can't close the door. Fuck off. Hey. But I got a VIP card, didn't I? Really? The fuck game. Do a, do a little safety save, you know? Safety save, safety save, yeah. Ooh.
Okay. Can I go through now? Oh! That was easy. What will you have? Anything, whatever stands the fuck. You better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm... Relax, to do. Tom. You sure you're... Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, mm -hmm. just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this Woodman? Probably got his feet <laughs> Probably up playing with his woodsman. <laughs> Except it's off limits to customers. I'm not a customer, dumbass. Who is he? Well, not Mr. anymore. Forrest, but everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest. Because he likes playing with his woodman. He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. You know, That's what they should you know, be you know, if only you had the attitude of John Wick, then shit would really fly, you know? Yeah. That's what I thought. He fucking did it again. You look away for a second and he's gone. <sighs> okay. Yeah, we just woke everybody up now, didn't we? I'm gonna ask the questions. Drop your iron and start talking. Just stay on point. And I said, drop it. I'm not dropping anything. Gotta go non-lethal, I think. Oh, right, I don't have fucking anything. I have a fucking katana. Shit. 
Well, aren't you the king of fuck ups? You're not helping. Fuck you, Johnny. You know Too bad you can't talk to dead people. Oh, wait. You're doing it now. Anyway, just scour his car. That's just my work. Bad dragon to woodsman. Goods are taken care of. Round up five or six girls and two guys, but make sure they're actually young, not like last time. Broken doll, golden fingers. Okay. Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toys wet dream. Yeah, that's where we were. Great.